you know, I always thought it was important to know some sort of self-defense. You know, uh, growing up, you know, it's, it, it doesn't matter where you're from, what town you're in, whatever it is that you're doing. I think it's just very important, you know, um, teaches a lot with discipline, kids. You know, I, I remember going to the gym, you know, to the boxing gym in, in Brentwood. And um, I bring in, bring in my kids. Big shout out to Brentwood Rec Center. Brentwood Rec Center. Coach, Coach Carter, Carter. Rest, rest in peace. peace. Damn. That was like all in unison. Yeah. <laughs> And um, next time. yeah, yeah, yeah. we do a harmony for you. Yeah, yeah. Shut yeah. the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I remember going to the gym and bringing uh my boys in oh. car seats. Word. In car seats, okay. So I'm going to the gym. I'm training in the, in the boxing gym, ready. So my, my my sons had to be probably been like one and two maybe. Word. And um, you know, going to the corner, putting them in a the little corner against the wall somewhere where they could face me, and they're watching everyone else in the gym exercising and over time you know as they're getting older they're taking all this in and not only from me but from everyone else in the gym you know and as they're getting older my son was four years old at the time jump roping like a grown like ass like Apollo man. Creed son yo we like, got yeah. videos I remember I said yeah. it a little while ago yep. Yep. we got videos on YouTube on yeah. YouTube uh, Facebook on Facebook yeah him jumping rope like he got damn Rocky Balboa uh, he was little like little fucking two little foot dude, man. tall Big head. He crossing lanes. He crossing arms. Yeah, jumping better than most adults that I've ever known. You know, at that time. You know, and today too. Um, but, it, see, that's one, one thing that I've noticed. Yo, remember when y'all first started coming to boot camp? Oh. <laughs> he was, yo, he, he pulled, we pulled out the, because I was actually training a little bit, just getting some cardio yeah, yeah, in that yeah. day. And Danny had started everybody jumping rope. So, little D goes and pulls out the jump rope. And he started before we did. I didn't say nothing, but I'm looking, and he started and was going so good. I took my jump rope, put that shit back real slow. I was like, this kid is not going to have me looking like no big doofy ass baby giraffe out here trying to jump rope. Yo, he was looking crazy out there. It just became. Perone was out there too. Perone yeah. was hype. He was going to yeah, take it. I remember. I he was remember. like, yo, look at this kid. It was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. You don't see that every day. Mm -mm. You don't see a three, four year old kid just going out there and jump roping. Like, wait a minute, you could jump? Yeah. <laughs> a three, four years old, what are you doing? Crazy. Playing the Legos. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker was in the gym with me. Not that he had a choice. Obviously, I was uh, uh, due to our schedule at the time. You know, they had no choice but to call me. That was how he was babysitting. Yeah. Going to the gym, put him in the corner, and just watch everyone train. Simple. Simple mm -hmm. as that. Yeah. And growing up over time, like Jamel said, jump roping. Yo, he learned so much. I didn't teach him how to jump rope. He learned that on his own. Yeah. You know, just from Through watching. Osmosis. Yo. Yo, they're like sponges from the time that they're born to today. Mm -hmm. You know, and what I've noticed over the years of him, you know, growing up and, and so on and so forth. And and both, both my sons, actually, they've learned self-defense. And I've noticed that when they know how to uh, act around other kids their age when I was taking them to parks, okay? So, like, at four or five years old, he was in the ring illegally, right? You about to start a CPS case, Danny. No, <laughs> sparring other kids. Hopefully sparring ten, other kids. Hopefully 10 years is, like, beyond yeah, no. the statutory limits because he's 15 now. Eight, eight, eight years old. I know, is, yeah. Is, is the age to actually start, right? He in there at five. Because... He, he got his dad in there, right? <laughs> so we said, you know what? He's building up so much potential, like his his movements and his way of he's working the bag at four and five years old, six mm -hmm. years old, and sparring kids. Yo, he was four or five years old sparring eight, nine, ten-year-old kids, believe it or not. And that process from him learning at that age. Looking like Bruce Lee with boxing gloves on. Bruce, That's yeah, like Paul. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. He like Bruce Lee with boxing gloves on. Well, he's, he's, Six pack, whole shit. Everything. Crazy. Yeah, the way his body formed and everything. And that's just because that's just his genetics. Mm -hmm. You know? It's yeah. just the way it is. He ain't got to work out as much. Yeah. And y'all hand me them prep moodle pretzels out the way. Oh, so, uh, you wanted them, you right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You think he's trying to yeah. make it look more professional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand me those pretzels. That's all you got. Now you're going to hear him crunching in the background. Uh-huh. That's uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> how we do it. Go ahead, we're talking. Yo, but... Right. <laughs> it's, it's good, man, because it's a peace of mind. Yeah. You know, I don't as have... As a parent. As a parent. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to worry about my kids 
you know, you know, at, at the park. Even though at that time I was with the at the park with them, you know, I noticed they had a little altercation with other kids at one point in time. And now, you know, the parents is always there. You know, we either, you know, some parents reading the book or <laughs> on the phone, right? <laughs> what, up, man? Just keep going. What up, man? Sorry, man. So, Yo, face, man. I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> so, Just carry on. reading the book, right? Or on the phone, right? But I'm watching from the corner of my eye. I'm like, all right, he's about to get pinned up against the wall real quick. Dude, the kid is pressing him. Uh-huh. Right, because they were playing tag or something, running around, and I noticed. I mean, he was laughing. He's like, "The dude was had had to be like a foot taller than him, mm -hmm. two feet taller than him." He, I remember him looking at the dude, and he was so like, a "Grown man, yeah." <laughs> Compared to him, <laughs> at that time, he was like this, like, "What's up, bro? Like, what's the problem?" Mm -hmm. You know, and and I'm not, I'm like, "Yo, his confidence level is through the roof right yeah, now," because yeah. he knows what he's capable of. Mm -hmm. You know, he can probably do a lot of damage to this kid that was probably twice his size. Mm -hmm. But he knows not to because he has great discipline. Yeah. And that's where self-defense comes into. He can defend himself if he needs to. But will he? At the time and moment, who knows? If he needed to, he yeah, would. Yeah, yeah. You know, but until today, like, you know, I press him sometimes. You know, we walk past each other. Uh -huh. We do with parents yeah, and our yeah, sons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and... Bump him in a, in a hallway yeah, and shit. Yeah, like, boy, we just... Word. You know, Get out of here. Get your little you know, ass out tighten there. up. Uh -huh. Tighten mm -hmm. up. Keep your hands up. You know what I'm saying? So, I know he still got it. Like, once you got it, yeah. you'll always have it's it. Like ride a bike. Yeah. It's like ride a bike. You, know, think, you can now ride a bike for 10 years. It is definitely going to, yeah, yeah. You still don't remember how to get on. The one. basic, go, the very, you know? very bare base. Not like he had any fights, any legit. You know, he sparred many, many, many times mm -hmm. because of what he wanted to do. Yeah. Does he do it today? No. Yeah. He don't do it today. But I'd be like, yo, get your hands up. Mm -hmm. We'll make a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we run them down no, when, like, we do, when we do uh, the gauntlet we make up yeah. at the end of, you know, whenever we're doing cardio, we don't, you know, we sometimes we do traditional cardio. And other right. times we'll, you know, do sled push and pulls. Yeah. We'll be on the rope bill. We'll be on a heavy bag. we jump a rope, box jumps, whatever. And, yo, the kid put on boxing gloves and it's like he never left the gym. Second you know, his combinations are still yeah. crispy. You know, he still got the head movement. His foot Everything. work is still crazy. So, that yeah, it's like, yo, he... It's built into him. Yeah. Over but, the, time but, doing but the beautiful part about it is, is that they are programmed to be up and moving. Right. Like, you know, I get... We've gotten people mm. over the course of the time that, you know, we've been training people together. And, you know... I always say that people do, and kids in particular, what you do the most, you do the best. So, you know, I get people who say to me, oh, well, you know, working out comes like second nature to you. Well, because sitting still in the fucking house was never preached in my house. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like, you know, for, for, for myself growing up, you know, my mother believed video games were for rainy days. Because mm. even on snowy days, you get your ass outside, make a snowman, have a snowman fight. Active. And you stay, stay active. Built tunnels, like yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially like I lived, yeah, I lived in a dead end for a lot of years. So, yo, we have a 15 foot thick ass mound yeah, of yeah, snow like pushed to the mm -hmm. back by the snow plows, and we digging tunnels. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was always about getting up, getting moving. And then, you know, summertime, going to my dad's house in the Bronx. Yo, my dad go buy some mountain bikes. We riding bikes from the Bronx down to Central Park, yeah. ride around Central Park five, yeah. ten times. Get some pizza, ride back up, you know, to the Bronx. And yo, that's the, till this day, the best, some of the best fucking sleep I've ever had in my life after riding bikes all day long yeah, in the sure. summertime. Just just with my dad, you know, like growing up, my dad, he, had, he has five siblings, but um, my uncle uh, Ra, who's now, uh, he works at Big Shots Uncle Ra, he, he works at uh, Penn State University. And you know, it was me, my dad, my uncle, and and my brother, and it was always two on two basketball mm. or two on two foot touch football, or we were always wow. out doing something. Right. It wasn't about just going and sitting in a movie somewhere, which we did that. Yeah, but that was usually when it was cold out. We always had outdoor activities, so you know, I just you know, kind of reference that to it being a part of the kids' DNA, just about. 
where they don't know and wouldn't know what sitting still was like, even if they tried it. Because, yeah. like you said, it you started them being exposed right. to this activity before they even had a choice. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, them being who they are now, there ain't no accident. Mm. It's no accident. You know, I remember, and this is going to sound fucked up. There's really no other way to put it. And it's going to tie into our last topic. By one of my daughters, I'm not going to name no names, but those who know them will be able to figure out who it is. Was sitting in health class one day. I forget what grade she was in. And they're talking about genetics and health and how it all ties in. So this one kid says, yeah, you know, being big or overweight just runs in my family. Mm. <laughs> and my daughter goes, no, that's not true. And she's going based off of what I, you know, told yeah. her. She goes, that's not true. Being fat does not run in your family. She goes, everybody in your family is fat because no one runs in your family. Damn. I know exactly. Sure. She, get, wrong. she gets she gets kicked out of class because mm. she's sitting in help class and but but that's the real talk well, exactly now she told the truth mm -hmm. that's those are discussions that we have in the house yeah. like you know people being big and being overweight two totally different things mm. you know but the choices that you make have a lot to do with that. a lot and and, it's, and and it has a lot to do with how your how you're raised and what you're exposed to. Yeah. You know, so you just did a good job of exposing them to something positive. Right. You know, being a young father, yeah. me and you, all, all three of us know what that's like. He was, was, hey, he was, yeah, he was a little older than us, me and kids, but nevertheless, he was still a young dad. Yeah, yeah 21. And, 20 going on, 21. Yeah, and, mm. you know, we all know that there was a hell of a lot of other shit you could have been exposing your kids to mm -hmm. from a negative perspective that... You did a damn good job not exposing them to. <laughs> yeah. So now they have that to fall back on, mm -hmm. you know. And I think that that's a that's a beautiful thing, you know. That's a beautiful it thing. It is. They 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 work with each other. Being that you know the brothers and they're close with each other. Yeah. You know they can help each other out. And that's the beauty of it. They know they know how they they both know. I'm using boxing because that's what I did. Yeah. They both know how to box. Right, my daughter. I put out videos there. She knows that little self defense. Yeah. Too. Hey, a little bit of something is better than nothing. Yeah. How, how long do you box, then? I box for about ten years. Nice. Yeah, I box for about ten. I mean, <clears throat> now I don't do it. You know, I'm a little too old for that. I'm not trying to get hit in the head no more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But if I have to, we getting in. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. You know. Like you said, but, it's a skill set that don't. Yeah, not yeah, exactly. exactly. You, you exactly. just you just know, and it's always good. I think. For every child, especially nowadays, but where you go on social media, you see kids being abducted. Yeah. Like, what child is being abducted doesn't know how to somewhat kind of defend themselves? Yeah, get get somebody away from them. Or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's a rally of two or three people, you know, if a child knows somewhat some little type of self defense, mm -hmm. you know, that might have helped them get away just that little bit. Yeah, yeah. Enough just where someone else can just someone else can, can kick uh, intervene. Right, intervene uh -huh. or, or see them in their plain view. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, that's why it's like, it's, it's, I think, personally, it's, it's very important for anyone, no matter if you're a kid or if you're an adult. You know, anyone can get in any type of situation, all the kids, or whatever the case is. Of course. But it also, like I said <clears throat> in the beginning, it teaches a lot about, about discipline. You know, <clears throat> this comes to a point where I've, I've uh, come into situations where I'm like... Y'all want to press it? Nah, I'm brother. <laughs> You don't want a pretzel? <laughs> Sound like Forrest Gump. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want a pretzel? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So shut up. <laughs> shut up. But there's been a situation. I mean, you don't have to know some type of any type of self-defense. If you got courage in you, then that, that goes a long way. Yeah, that helps. But but knowing actual self-defense yeah. you know, helps a whole lot. It helps a whole you lot. Know. It builds your confidence up. I mean, some people are built with courage. Right. Nah, I ain't, nah. nah, come I'm, on. I'm cool, bro. No, no, no. Listen. I'm cool until somebody messes with me. But that's what I'm saying. I'm good. Listen, you was, I don't like bothering nobody. No one I don't like bothering, nobody bothering you because of the way you look. <laughs> listen, <laughs> you listen, know what I'm saying? I could be a teddy bear. I'm still a goddamn bear. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, so, right. like, that's, yeah, that's just like it. Me. Oh, we all got that's feelings. Just it, of course. You know? Of course. We all got feelings. I but ain't, like I ain't got no feelings. I ain't say, oh. No, no, you got, you got something you going on. 
I hug once in a while. Yo, sir, I love you, dude. Stop playing. Yo, Stop listen, playing. Get back to Stop the task, man. This Stop ain't got nothing to do with you. You need a hug right now. And <laughs> 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 a pretzel. And a pretzel. And a pretzel. Yo, this is official. Man, y'all about to make me curse on camera more oh, than I'm supposed shit. to be. No, man, but you've been doing that. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> I, I think it's <laughs> but like I say, like we, I've I've been in situations where cause, because I have the knowledge and experience of a boxer, right? I'm not saying I'm the best. I just know the fundamentals. Yeah. I now, a, now, what what part? Um, not what part, but the discipline to skill ratio. Right. How do you balance that out if you have a kid that comes in? And wants to learn how to box, but he's a hothead. Like he just he almost wants to learn how to box just to be almost to be a bully, just to go out there and just mess with people. It just you know? takes discipline. You, you just you gotta you, you gotta How do you instill that as you teach him how to box? All you gotta do is read Mike Tyson's autobiography of how Customado dealt with him. Like that's but he, that's he, basically he has it. It's cause Customado lived with Tyson. Yeah. See, as, if I don't if I'm not if I don't know the kid. Yeah, and then he's gonna go do whatever. He's like, all right, so bet. I know how to throw a right hand clean. I'm gonna go try on this fool right over here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what like, I'm saying? how do you? Yeah. How do you? So first, you just gotta you gotta, you gotta have a good eye for it. Just like you know when someone's taking anything serious. Yeah. Like if Jamel knows, like, all right, this kid is good. He he he's he's good in football because you yeah. know about football. That's yeah. like your priority, main focal point, yeah. right? So you say, well, this kid is good in football. He has all skills and talent and everything else, but. I know he's gonna take it somewhere. Let me sit him down and talk to him where he can be. Yeah. You gotta start building his he's dream. His head is if mm -hmm. he's not, if he doesn't have the full potential, maybe he can get there, right? But if you notice right away, I say, well, I know he can get to point A to point B. Let let me help. Let me sit him down and talk. Like I said, talk to him mm -hmm. to see if he wants to. Go. If he's not there, like he said, then you know if, 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 if he's being if he's paying attention or or, or you know if his undivided attention is totally on you, then. That's that's the way it should be. You yeah. know, you just gotta read the kid. That's mm -hmm. all it is. You gotta you gotta read. Like you know, it's so or not. Mm -hmm. It's you know? funny you say that because I was that when I was younger. My my mother took when we first moved out here from the Bronx to keep us occupied and you know out of trouble. We went you know uh, t ball and baseball, and, you know all type all types of activities. Church, one of them. State ball. Um, yeah, State and then um, she had signed me and my brother up for martial arts. But I was taking that shit and going to school. <laughs> Fuck you, Fuck you, I'm on the bus and shit, you shit. know. And then next thing I know, we 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 go to get up on a Saturday morning because we were doing martial arts at the Pimple Rack Center. Yeah, I never forget this shit. And I go to get up and get dressed. She goes, "Nah, you ain't going." <laughs> I was like, "Why not?" <laughs> and she totally took me out because she was yeah. like, "Yo, you learned this shit and going using people as guinea pigs." Yeah. But I was just you know young and you know a little off. At the time, so I was getting. How did she was, know that you wasn't that you was trying on other people? Because I was, she was getting phone calls from school. There it is. <laughs> That's why. And she brought it back. She to brought her. it back. It was like, nah, it's okay. Like you're gonna relax. Yeah, your brother can go. <laughs> it, but it there's no reason with the, the yeah. culture and the parents. I'm like, yeah, they, I think we were taking taekwondo because we were real young. Mm. And I'm like, oh shit, I could kick now. I could kick Which now. Whoa. <laughs> like, For you, it's more like a horse Mrs. kick. Mrs. Yeah. Madison, Jamel kicked somebody on the playground. Okay, that's the end of that shit. See, me, so, I was getting, I was getting kicked. Chicks stayed hitting me. I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know you. <laughs> and then like dudes, I, dudes would be trying, like we playing. You know, yeah, you, know, yeah, you yeah. been playing suicide? Uh -huh. Throw the ball against yeah, the wall. Yeah, you yeah. catch it, and so if you go, if you catch it and miss, somebody got to yeah, hit and hit mm, you with it before you yeah. get to the wall. You call that booties up. Ass up. Yep. Oh, we call it suicide. You got to stand on the wall with your hands, I guess, yeah. and get somebody to get the... Get, somebody get, the, get that... Pelt your up. ass with it. Pelt your ass with the I remember, I remember one time this kid, JT, man, we out there playing, and he got pissed off because I, I beamed him. I threw that thing. Lucky hit. You know what I'm saying? He was running. Pow, hand boy. Ah. You know, so, ah. so he can't... Yeah, so he came at me. So I'm like, yo, chill out. But my pops, you know, I wouldn't try... I feel bad for anybody. Yeah, that, yeah, right yeah. now, my dad's, what, 62? Six, you yeah. walk one you want to. He like Steven Seagal. Man, your, your ass would be in a pinch, in a bind early. But, but own, now, I was your, learning. He wrapped your whole arm around your neck. Yeah, you don't know what you're shit out you. Smiling. And, yeah. and, and he's strong, too. He's still very yeah, strong. Yeah, but, um, but now but, they ain't picking on you now, right? 
Nah, but I'm saying like the discipline aspect. I knew the discipline aspect. I yeah, had the listen, discipline. Listen, Jeff, forty something years old, right? Yeah. And he was kind of damn. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, forty something years old, right? And he's he talking shit now. So imagine how much shit he was talking back then. That's no, what that's what I'm man. saying. It's to, it was the, I, was I ain't talking. I ain't talk, no, it wasn't. Yeah, 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 I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't so, listen, I've known Jeff for a long time. I ain't never known him to not talk shit. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> now. That's, that's, that's now. now. All of a it's sudden. It's different. I'm all telling you. All I didn't bother nobody. And I was told, don't like you don't just walk around because yeah, it was yeah, like, yo, yeah. you can hurt somebody. Yeah. I beat the breaks off this kid. Then I was doing this neck grab that, that I seen <laughs> and that we learned and everything. Mortal Kombat? Yo, Get over here. Yo, shit. I brownhouse kick. I spin it, hook kicked him. Pow! And caught him with the heel right in the temple. And then when he was down, that was the problem. Because once he was down, I was like, oh, I'm beat to thought, He thought he was auditioning for the three I was trying to, I was trying to <laughs> kill him. You know, my, yo, my dad you saw my right, ass. Right? My That's dad crazy. was like, yo, he's like, you could have killed that kid <laughs> while he was whooping. What do you want me to do? Right. He told he was having this conversation with Jeff Ford away to like <laughs> Bible study. Oh, nah. <laughs> nah. And, uh, see, He's but, like, you could have killed him in the name no, of Jesus. No, there was no Bible study. There was a belt. It was an ass whooping. <laughs> so he was then he, he took was one for one that day. He had one W and took an ass whooping. Yeah. But oh, he but man. he took me out of out of the um karate because I also had a I had a terrible temper because because why? Listen, because that, his asses. Yeah, that well, was going around fucking niggas up. No, 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 no. That's no. what I'm saying. I was, but that's what I'm saying. Like when, how do you tell when? Because the difference. It's, it's when when kids are that young. It's tough. Because that, I wasn't, I wasn't trying yeah, to. Listen, this it. is this is one of the things that I always explain to parents, and I've had this conversation with coaches over the years. Some of the coaches that you know coach at the high school now, I have these conversations with every so often. A kid's mental makeup is constantly. Changing as they get older, mm -hmm. you know, they're maturing. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why legally they need our asses because mm -hmm. right? they don't know their ass from where they have a guardian or a parent. Exactly, right. you know, right. and and I even see working at the high school, like seeing kids who are 15, 16, 17 years old, 18 years old. I'm constantly talking to, and it's not bad. Mm. I think sometimes people get it misconstrued when you got to talk. Some kids just take time to learn certain things. Yeah, and absolutely. And I'm, I'm constantly teaching kids, like, yo, listen, you know, I have an attitude one day, and I pull them to the side, like, yo, what's going on? Because you don't normally act like this. And it's like, nah, man, I just, you know, I'm going through some shit. And I'm mm -hmm. like, all right, cool, I get that. But being a young man or a young woman mm -hmm. at 16, 17 years old, this is where you, all y'all think y'all grown, this is a part of being grown. Mm -hmm. You can't go through some shit at home, come here and take it out on us. Mm -hmm. You can't go through some shit here, go home and bark on your parents because you get your ass kicked, mm -hmm. depending on how you're being raised. You got to learn how, how to comp how, can, how to compartmentalize that mm -hmm. and deal with your emotions as an adult. Yeah. Nobody's saying that you can't talk about it. I'm here. I'm quite sure there's other people here yeah. that are willing to talk to you and help you work through whatever it is you're going through. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I bring that up is because they're still struggling with their own thoughts and feelings. Yeah. Yeah. So how the hell can you sit and say, oh, I'm going to teach this kid this to teach him discipline. Yo, for, 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 for seven out of ten kids, that'll teach him discipline. You'll have them three misfits that's going to take it and be choking motherfuckers in the bushes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not so in it's the like, bushes. That's, that's the thing. Like, imagine, <laughs> imagine Ted Bundy knew martial arts. <laughs> he already got oh, 60 God. dead bodies under his belt. Yeah. He would have been even more deadly. So that's what I mean. It's like you never know who you're dealing with. Mm. But it's our job to decipher that and, you know, understand, you know, how to deal with certain kids mm. because what works for certain ones Absolutely. don't work for others. Like, yo, I remember, I say this, you know, just before we move on because we got to move on to the next topic. Yeah. I remember being, you know, on the high school football team and intelligent coaches coached us all differently. Right. You know, like we didn't all get treated the same. And I'm a, I, I'm a fan of that. I even understood that in high school. Like, yo, I'm a little bit of a, you know, firecracker. So I don't expect Coach to be as nice to me mm. as he is to the next kid. Exclusivity. You, know, you got to be exclusive Yeah, he'll pull, you know, happening. Coach Black will pull somebody to the side and talk to him a little bit. Me, I get a kick in the ass. And like, Patterson, get your shit together. Get back in there, and this is how we're going to run it. Yeah, everybody and I was saying. perfectly fine yeah, with yeah. that. Absolutely. Because he understood... Which, you know, I think he was kind of before his time because a lot of coaches now are just starting to kind of get that. You know, there used to be just, you know, one rule for everybody. But he understood that it took different stimuli to motivate certain kids. So, um, 
you know, that, that's once again, that's why it's our job to raise these kids properly because they don't know what it takes to motivate them. They don't right. know everything. Like I always tell my kids, when I'm talking and it's something that I truly need you to learn, just shut the fuck up because I'm 36. I've been 18. I've been 17. I've been 16 and I've been 12. None of you motherfuckers have ever been 36. Right. So there's not a goddamn thing you can tell me that I don't already know. I'm not saying I know everything. But I know way more than y'all asses. Right. So right now it's time to shut the hell up, take some notes. And listen. You know. Right. Um, with that being said, 